All right, so let's look at the first one, bearing currents. This was the most common fault type. So the fault is voltage on the rotor discharging through the stator, uh, through the bearings to the stator. And my little diagram here, I have my rotor shaft, I have my bearings. And what happens is that we have this high frequency on the stator, and that's capacitively coupling to the rotor. And there's a little current transferring from the stator to the rotor. On the rotor, this charge builds up. Basically, you know, we're going from uh, zero voltage difference from the stator to the rotor to that rotor voltage is creeping up. Maybe it gets to four, five, six volts. We have an event that happens in the bearings. Either the bearings touch and become conductive or the fluid has a capacitive breakdown and that voltage on the rotor discharges through the bearings to the stator. So we actually get currents going through the stator. This is, uh, this is kind of a long-term failure mode because this is happening frequently. It's happening a lot. We have common mode currents that are coupling to that rotor. These couplets are going to ground through those bearings and it, it's caused a lot of times by rotor eccentricity. If it's not even, we get that contact in the bearings. So why is this bad? Why are currents coming from the rotor to the stator through the bearings bad? Well, currents create heat. Heat creates problems. So actually see fluting in the raceway of the bearing. If you look at a picture of a bearing with fluting um, on the raceway, there's little pits. And this is going to create, cause the bearing to not um, roll as good, or it's going to create flat parts and going to create bumping and more eccentricity. So we're kind of going to cook that fluting, or uh, we're going to cook that raceway and flute it. If the bearing has fluid in it, you could effectively cook the fluid, and now you're no longer getting the really good um, uh, uh, protection that you were looking for. If it's ball bearings, the bearings themselves can become flat on edges. And again, you kind of get that it's no longer operating as good as it can. And this is going to create heating. This is going to create more fault or more short circuits, and it's going to be a increasing failure until you have a, a catastrophic failure. Ultimately, again, resulting in bearing failure. And again, this is voltage building up on the rotor, discharging through the bearings to the stator. That's bearing currents.